From Everton's Rocky Dad to Cantona's Kung Fu Kick via Wrestling Borat. It's the occasions when a supporter and the players have got physical. Here are 12 of the most shocking player versus fan punch-ups. Number 1. Everton Fan vs Anthony Lopez, 2017 In October 2017's Europa League clash at Goodison Park, one toffee couldn't help himself getting involved when a clash started between both sets of players. After Ashley Williams's rather unnecessary challenge on Leon goalkeeper Anthony Lopez, and one father in the crowd made his way forward to join in, landing a slap on the French goalkeeper's face. What made the incident so outlandish was that while one arm was being used to hit the Leon player, the other was carrying the toddler's son. The man has been banned from Goodison Park for life, but defended himself, claiming that the pair were carried to the front by fans and through a gate which should have been shut. Sure, right. Number 2. Eric Cantona vs Crystal Palace 1995 Perhaps the most shocking moment in Premier League history, Cantona aimed a kung fu kick at Crystal Palace fan Matthew Simmons after he allegedly told the Manchester United man to fuck off back to France. Cantona had received a red card shortly before the incident for kicking out a Palace defender Richard Shaw. But that misdemeanor paled in significance soon after. The unrepentant ex-Leeds man, who later told 442 that he should have punched him harder, was hit with a nine-month ban and handed 120 hours of community service. Number 3. Graeme Stack vs Royal Antwerp Fan 2002 Former Arsenal goalkeeper Graeme Stack was one of four gunners loaned to Belgium side Beveren for the 2002-2003 season, but he was the only one who got into it with opposition fans. Said supporters were soon regretting their actions. After breaking through the gates and making their way onto the pitch, the two Antwerp followers approached Stack and got more than they bargained for, as the loanee knocked one down with a single clear punch. Who says Arsenal lacks steel? Number 4. Petrolol Fan vs George Galamas 2011 Referee Robert Dumutru's decision to award Stau Bucharest a penalty just before halftime in their Romanian league clash with Petrolol would have unimaginable consequences for Stau's Galamas. As the penalty was set up, a Petrolol fan broke onto the pitch and ran at Galamas from behind, punching him on the side of the head. The hefty connection left the defender with a broken cheekbone, with Galamaz's hearing also damaged. His teammates didn't take kindly to the invaders' actions and proceeded to attack the supporter, which brought them two red cards. Number 5. Peter Schmeichel vs Galatasaray Fan 1993 It was a terrifying business which had nothing to do with sport and can be categorised objectively as an absolute disgrace, said Alex Ferguson of Manchester United's infamous trip to Istanbul to face Galatasaray in 1993. The fan conquering Schmeichel may not concur. During the Manchester tie between the two teams, an away supporter entered the field with a burning flag. In the closing stages of this Champions League encounter, which prompted the United goalkeeper to take action, Schmeichel grabbed the fan and ushered him to the side of the pitch before spectacularly throwing him over the touchline. Lesson, don't mess with the Great Dane. Number six. Anton Konobolotsky vs Alexandria fan, 2015. Who would be a goalkeeper? Not only is there a good chance they'll be punished for their mistakes, a team's custodian is more vulnerable to attacks from invading supporters. Shakhtar Donetsk shotstopper Konobolotsky took a preventative course of action when a fan approached him in 2015. Not taking too kindly to having a middle finger thrust in his face, Konobolotsky shoved the supporter and grabbed him by the throat, sending his red beanie flying in the process. Number 7. Leeds Fan vs Chris Kirkland, 2012 In a fiery Yorkshire derby, Leeds' Michael Tong had just equalised against Sheffield Wednesday when Elds goalkeeper Chris Kirkland was violently shoved in the face by a Leeds supporter. The keeper received treatment on the field for minutes after the incident, which led to the jailing of the fan who claimed to be so drunk he had no memory of the event whatsoever. Number 8. Aaron Zahavi vs Hapoel Tel Aviv fan 2014 Moving between rival clubs always guarantees unpopularity with at least one set of supporters, but Zahafi probably didn't expect to be physically attacked after joining Maccabi Tel Aviv from neighbours Hapoel. The Israeli striker was set upon after scoring a penalty, exchanging kicks with a topless fan before teammates and opponents intervened. Ten minutes after Zahavi was sent off for his actions, 
Further crowd trouble forced the referee to abandon the match. Number 9. Frode Olsen vs Spain Fan 2003 Norway's number one took matters into his own hands when a rogue fan entered this field during an international fixture against Spain in 2003. The goalkeeper showed a quick turn of pace when chasing the unwelcome visitor, before flying into a tackle that would make Vinnie Jones wince. As the supporter rumbled over, losing a shoe in the process, Olsen again reacted quickly to pin him down and wait for assistance. Nice work all round. Number 10. Esteban Alvarado vs Ajax Fan 2011 With 36 minutes played in AZ Alkmaar's KNVB Cup match against Ajax, goalkeeper Alvarado was approached by an Ajax fan who appeared intent on attacking the 22-year-old shot stopper. The fan and Alvarado jump-kicked each other before the latter gained the upper hand and began treating the stricken supporter's body like a football. The AZ Alkmaar man was duly sent off, which led to the manager, Gertrand Wiebeck, ordering his players into the dressing room in protest. The referee had no choice but to abandon the game. Number 11, Ashley Vickers versus Havant and Waterlooville fan, 2011. When player manager Vickers was forced to play for Dorchester Town amid an injury crisis, he could hardly have envisioned how his evening would end. When a pitch invader wearing nothing but a Borat style mankini continued to evade the stewards' attempt to tackles, Vickers caught up with the fan and wrestled him to the ground. And what thanks did he get? A red card from the referee. Number 12. Celtic fan versus Gordon Strachan. 1981. Strachan won three league titles and three domestic cup competitions during his time as Celtic manager, but he wasn't always so popular with the club supporters. Indeed, the former Scotland boss was once targeted by a boys supporter during his playing days. The fan in question, taking exception to Strachan's expertly converted penalty for Aberdeen in 1981, the Celtic supporter didn't get close enough to the celebrating midfielder and was quickly hauled off by two police officers.